Hello, troublemakers. Just give me a moment here. It's fall. Colors that remind me of fall. How about that? That's a good looking orange. Ah, uh, nope. Ah, <laughs> nope. Little confession. I'm working on recording the Harry Potter commentaries and I'm going to put them all into one video, but it's taken me forever. In the meantime, I thought it'd be fun just to come and chill with you guys. You guys know how this series works. You watch one movie trailer on YouTube, you get recommended about a thousand more movie trailers. Some with like 20, 30, 40 million views for movies you've never heard of, movies that no one's seen, and yet the trailers somehow manage to get massive numbers. So what we do, you and I, we watch the trailers together and guess the review scores. In order to get us kickstarted, I saved one movie trailer, I bookmarked it, and that is Then Came You with Nina Dobrev and Maisie Williams. 7.5 million views. Another I'm Dying Let's Fall In Love movie, can't wait to watch the trailer. Hi. Hi. I, I, Are you in a lobby? You cannot be doing this in a lobby publicly, my guy. Is it cool? Are you kidding me? You cannot be digging around in your pants in front of a child. Who are you, Rudy Giuliani? <laughs> it's for you to join us, guy. You know me, Dan. Oh, I'll be late. God. Is this not? I'm not Paper Towns. Uh, the Infinite. No, that's that's not it. Uh, the Before We Were Young. Wow, God, what's the title of that book? <laughs> Before we were young? Is that a real story? Before we were young. I just created the most generic YA contemporary story about a dying kid. Before we were young. I'm writing a book. I'll use that. <laughs> uh, Fault in Our Stars. The Fault in Our Stars. I just saw it. This is the Fault in Our Stars. Gender reversed. All right, make a list of all the things that you want to do. Write anything. No one cares. You're dying, remember? <laughs> the snarky teenager trope. <laughs> love it. You'll love to see it. His test came back clean. Testing for something that he never had. What is this cast? We got Teen Wolf. This man is actually funny. I feel like he took this role like, let me change how Hollywood perceives me. Let me go full mustache dad. Supportive mustache dad. That is a surefire way to stop getting typecasted in Hollywood. Mustached supportive father. What else is on your list? Can't run them. Run! Oh. oh. What is this trailer? Think we can't outrun them? It's not funny at all. Think we can't outrun them. Run! Oh. And then the music's not loud or tense enough. They literally took the most stock sound music for a trailer I've ever heard. This isn't funny. Ken Jeong. Okay, great. It's so funny. Up, up the mid trailer song switch, and we're starting to get serious. <laughs> you terrify me. You excite me, and when you're not around, I miss you. I can't. <laughs> oh, fuck. Holy shit, that's not a real line. This isn't about you. This is about oh. you. Holy shallow. Wait, wait, wait. When the line ends, the music should immediately pick back up. But listen, listen to this, ready? I'm not going right now. Why did you just up the volume there? Why not up the volume right after the guys finish speaking to fill in that silent space? Oh my goodness. This trailer is so bad. I think this movie is going to get a 21%. That's going to be my guess. Don't so look down. Oh my god! You're erect! <laughs> Listen, it's scary no. the first time. 18%. Fuck you for that last joke. First, let's go to Rotten Tomatoes. Then came you. 18% is my guess. Feel free to make a guess yourself. Dog, don't tell me. It's a 59%. I don't believe any of the people. Hot users. What substances are you using? Rating one out of four, one out of five. So the bad ratings are all giving it like the worst score. Let's find another one. Let's watch this one. <laughs> okay, here, home again. 10 million views three years ago. I'm feeling exhausted, hopeless, and I don't enjoy the things that I once loved. Where are you getting this from? The Zolash commercial. Obviously. There's this really sweet- This is made for old people. This movie's made for old people. Hi. By the way, I'm definitely old enough to drink alcohol. <laughs> Me too. Obviously. Why is that the joke in your trailer? Did you watch these? I did, but um, only because I was doing a load and I've been up since 5.30. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit charming. I was doing home. I thought uh, Nana was taking you to school. You're acting weird. <sighs> 
Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. I'm intrigued on a very shallow level. Now, uh oh, older woman with a boy toy. Maybe there's more behind his beautiful eyes than you first imagined. I don't know. They could stay here. Stay here? Try looking at this as something that could be. Was that Nat Wolf? Did I see? Let's just do our best. It is. It is. Their style. Perfect. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna grab that and flush down the toilet. <laughs> I don't know your ex, but he must be some kind of maniac to have let you slip through his hands. What are you doing here? Oh, God. I just can't think straight. Is that one of them? Oh, she's got three boy toys? I miss our family. Let's fix this. You make a decision about your life when you're 25 years old. You think, is that like a good life decision for the rest of your life? That's true. That's true. It's a good point. Okay. It's between them two. It's between those two at the end there. Him and him. Because he got all the screen time. Also, he's the tallest. Can we get all those guys side by side? Right here? Right here? This man has no shot. I was going to tell you now. It's between these two. He's the tallest. He's the most clean cut. He's not into weed. Because to old people, weed is like... The Devil's Lettuce. I'm at this part of YouTube where I just repeatedly watch trailers upon trailers. Welcome to the chill zone, baby. This is the place for you. Let's guess on this movie trailer. 10 million views. That's a lot. Never heard of this movie, though. I feel like this is going to be worse than the last one, even though I'm more intrigued. I'm going to give it uh, a 54%. Make your guesses now. Ready? <laughs> I guess I wasn't too far off. Oh, God. She decides to start over by moving back to LA with her two daughters. I hate when filmmakers always set everything in LA. Oh, it gives you the whole plot. I love when Wikipedia just comes through and just tells you everything. While out for a drink with her friends, Alice encounters Harry, George, and Teddy, three aspiring filmmakers in LA. She offers them her guest house for them to pitch their short film to her. I, if I had known this, I would have docked the rating. Not everybody cares about Hollywood. No one wants to spend two hours about people wanting to make a short film. No one. It's like when authors have their characters always interested in books. It's because the writer of the book is interested in books. Filmmakers are always like, oh, I like films, so I think everybody likes films. So then they have their characters interested in filmmaking, but it's like such a niche thing. Like you can like movies, but it's different to like the process of making movies. That's a, such a small group of people. Okay, so the reason the guy shows back up is because he's uncomfortable about having three strangers living with his family, including his two infant daughters. His daughters are like 11 and six. And then your ex-wife lets three strange men come and live in your house with your two childs, childrens. Okay, so then they all just become a family in the end. The three guys, the mom, the dad, and the daughters just, I guess, make a family. Uh. Before we move on with the next trailer, let's take a second to thank today's video sponsor, Audible. For those of you who live under a rock, Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment. The new cool thing Audible has recently added is the Plus Catalog, which comes with your membership, and it has thousands upon thousands of audiobooks and podcasts ready for you to listen to at any time. The nice thing about having an Audible Premium membership is that you get a free credit to spend every single month on any audiobook that you want. But if you don't have any need for that monthly credit, Audible is now offering access to the Plus Catalog separately. It's normally $7.95 a month, but they're offering a special holiday deal with my code. It's only $4.95 a month for the first six months. You can get that deal by heading to audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble or by texting Dylan is in trouble to 500, 500 What I like about the Plus Catalog is it allows you to jump between thousands of stories on demand. If you start to get bored with one, you can switch over to a different one and you can do that as many times as you want. One of the audiobooks I've been eyeing in the Plus Catalog is called Roar, which I've heard has a good romance and some great world building. It's about people who have the magical power to control these violent storms so how could it not be good it's got guilty pleasure written all over it try it out for yourself just go to audible.com slash dylan is in trouble and it'll save you some money let's move on all right we got two night stand 40 million views oh it's rated r okay here we go uh Annalie tipton oh, mouse okay. teller cedric and I kid kid cuddy is that kid cuddy <laughs> basically we were just thinking what if you moved out you know like what would that be like <laughs> I am going backwards. I am Benjamin Buttoning. Maybe it's time for a one night stand. Get on that dating site, pick a cute guy. No drinks, no dinner, just a hookup. Desperate times call for desperate measures. If you go on a dating site, never, and I mean never, select one night stand as the thing that you want. Because the type of guys 
that you are going to match with, it's going to be a no bueno. Uh, morning, Megan. Morning, Alex. Do you want to grab breakfast or do you normally just take off? Normally? Do you expect me to believe this is your first one night stand? Yes. Come on. You don't sign up for a one night stand for your first one night stand. <laughs> like you have to have done it before to want to sign up on a website promoting yourself as a one night stand kind of person, you know? I think I'm gonna take off. It was lovely having sex with you. Oh, I wish I could say the same. What? What? She's locked in. That's a lot of- One thing that I hate in trailers, text, especially when it's like moving, like when you can't get at the door, just show me what happens in the movie. If you can't tell me a story in the trailer without using like text on screen to literally tell me, I'm not gonna trust that you're gonna be able to make a good film. Hope you aren't planning on going anywhere anytime soon because it ain't gonna happen. This storm is showing- They're gonna fall in love, huh? We can use this time to be honest with each other and give each other advice and construct- Oh, God. And you went, like, way too fast. You started helping yourself a little bit. It's like you were drilling for oil? They're talking about how to get better at sex. And then the text is like, let me come in with a little bit of funny fun. You were drilling for oil? Nobody gets off easy. Damn it. I'm so funny. I'm a movie trailer. Shut the fuck up. What if we tried again? Let's make our guesses. Uh, it's just film all about like sex. Now, those stories don't, don't go well with critics, I don't think. I'm gonna say 22%. 38! <laughs> it's charming in parts, but also contrived. You're telling me that people don't often get snowed in with their one night stand? Two more trailers. I opened this one, Two Hearts. It's got Jacob Elordi in it, who's from Kissing Booth, in theater September 11th. So this just came out, huh? Two Hearts, look at this. Y'all, look at this shit. Look at this. <laughs> They're like puzzle pieces. Are they dead? Did they all die? All right, Jacob Elordi, what you got? Sorry. Excuse me. Are you in this class also? Nope. Uh, I was. <laughs> Why are you an idiot? I'll admit it. A lot of us go through life without a purpose. I like living in this moment here with you. But the truth is, we're all just one connection away. What is this voiceover? But the truth is, we're all just one connection away. It's like he's speaking directly into my ears. What microphone did they use? It doesn't sound like a movie. Something incredible. Is there any- One connection away. And their flight attendants. Do for you. You could hold my hand. <laughs> you don't waste time, do you? Who? Who? Who has ever asked a flight attendant for, for like a child? Like a five-year-old child was like, hey, can you hold my hands, lady? I'm scared. There are no adults being like, hey, you wanna hold my hand, pretty lady? Oh, I wanna die. Oh, fairy tale wedding. Oh, I'm gonna take that back. Childhood dreams? What? You've never had dreams? I absolutely have. <laughs> Why would you put that in the trailer? What, you've never had dreams? And he's like, absolutely I have. That's the expected answer. Why did you put it in your trailer? You wanna highlight the interesting parts of these characters. So if he was like, no, I don't see the point in dreaming. That's interesting. It's like, wait, what hurt you to this point where you don't dream anymore? But he's like, yeah, no, I dream. Okay, just like everyone else? Cool. Glad I saw that part of his character where he's just like everybody else in existence. Chris. Oh, you're switching it up on me. Oh, two hearts. I Sometimes I don't even think about the title. They switched hearts or something? Well, life doesn't always go according to plan. Sometimes okay. our purpose Okay. bigger than we ever imagined. Please come back to Oh, they don't switch hearts. Given your history, we're not very optimistic. Oh, that's sad. Okay, so one man will be giving up his heart. Chris? I had a vision. I knew what I had to do. Please come back to <laughs> The punching the wall scene. I believe the connections are everywhere. The kindness of a stranger. No first heartbeat of a baby. Is that it? No. No shot. Oh wait, no, it's his child. And I believe each one of us has a purpose. One of them's gonna give their heart up to each other, to the other. Do you? Kinda like that ending. Do you? <laughs> all right, Do you? all right, kinda like that, little charming. Ah, I got infinitely more interested once like the interesting part 
kicked in. Watching the first part of this film has got to be torture. Okay, I have a feeling uh, the dude's going to give up his heart to the older dude. Jacob Elordi's going to give up his heart for the other guy. Just my guess. Um... I gotta go with my cut. I'm gonna give this a 47%. <laughs> 19, but an audience score of 87. This is the sort of film of which the term tearjerker was invented, but this one jerks them so violently you may need medical attention afterwards. That's funny, Frank. Frank Sheck, you better check your sense of humor because it's pretty good. Okay, spoilers. If you want to watch this film, skip ahead like 30 seconds. Chris dies. I don't know who Chris is. Character guy, Chris. Yeah, I called it. I knew it. Oh no. Okay, so he marries the girl, has a son, becomes a firefighter and lives a happy life, but it was all a dream. <laughs> he ends up brain dead and he's the reason Jorge gets to live. <laughs> Does two hearts have a sequel potential? Considering Chris is dead now? No, I knew it. I called that, bro. It's the guy who's doing the voiceover. Like that, it hits you hardest if that's the guy that dies. But he was brain dead the entire time. So you get to see him grow up, have a family, be happy. Not actually happening. That's the worst kind of ending. Is being like, oh yeah, everything you just watched, that didn't actually happen. We got one more. Let's do one more film trailer. Table 19 with Anna Kendrick. Hi. Hello, my God. I am Renzo. I'm Eloise. <laughs> I got dumped by Francie's brother, the uh, best man back there at table one. This is a great table. It's a great one. Yes. Mm, no, it isn't. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. I kind of see what they're going for. After two years, you break up with me over text? Good luck with your future endeavors? Were you firing me? What great. the? <laughs> you know what Francie's mother calls table 19? The table that should have known to send regrets. Let's go. Okay. What if? This trailer is boring me so hard. The concept's there. It's like a table of rejects, people that have been rejected by this family in some way. But it's just so boring because they're all talking about how they're all rejects for half the trailer. By this point in the last trailer, people were dying. People's hearts were failing. <laughs> Show me some heart failure. Also, these shots are so boring. Let me, this one. Nope. The uh, best man back there at table one. Oh, uh, no kidding. This, this shot's boring. This shot is so boring. What is she doing in this shot? It's focused on these two and she has no right being in the shot. There's no point to have her. Let's focus on the people who are having the conversation. It's a great table. It's a great one. Yes. Mm, no, it isn't. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. Why? Do you ever have that kind of day where the things that come so easily to everyone else just seem so elusive? <laughs> the pseudo profound statement. Do you ever have that kind of day where the things that come so easily to everyone else just seem so elusive? Do you ever have those days when you struggle for things that shouldn't be struggled for? I'm deep. If this movie ends with the ex-boyfriend wanting the girl back, wanting Anna Kendrick back because she's getting with another guy and he's getting jealous, no. 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 Yeah, me neither. I've seen that joke before. He says the profound thing and then she's just like, no. And he's like, ah, yeah, me neither. That's, I've seen that joke before, and they didn't even deliver it in a new or funny way. You are Romeo and Juliet, and we all wish you the same happy ending. That's not funny. Okay, so the cast is there to potentially make this work. That's kind of what makes this hard to gauge. This could just be a bad trailer. The concept is interesting, although I don't like weddings. Who really likes weddings? Unless it's your wedding, it's not fun. Before we look up the score, let's see if we can get the plot. Because if he... If the ex-boyfriend tries to get the girl back. Oh yeah, okay, the whole plot's here. The whole plot's here, yes. Whew. Oh, Eloise is pregnant. Whoa, she's pregnant with the baby of her ex. So they go and smoke pot. That's the, that's the solution. That guy that had that profound statement just disappears. And then she just gets back with the main, the, the guy that broke up with her because she's pregnant and they're just gonna work it out. Okay, I, I gotta be honest, probably 15% because in the end it's like she just got back with the person that broke up with her like Is that great for a movie? Let's go with 19 19% that would be so fitting wouldn't it be make your guesses 20 uh, I was close 25% Okay, that's gonna wrap up this chill zone video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a very fall-esque edition <laughs> Another thank you to audible for sponsoring this video You can go to audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble and start exploring the audible plus catalog. I love you guys. Thank you for watching the holidays are approaching 
Love the holidays. One of my favorite times of the year. So hope you guys are feeling good and taking care of yourselves. I'll be back again soon with another video. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys next time. Toodles.